Um, today we want to do a video to show you um, one type of turnover. I wrote a blog post about turnovers a little bit ago and I talked about how you can put pie filling in the turnover and make little, um, it's like little personal pies and that my kids love them. Uh, this morning I decided that I was going to make them with scrambled eggs and sausage and make them a little bit more hearty and savory for breakfast. Uh, we actually started to make a video before and my battery died, so uh, we kind of went through the process and it didn't get recorded. So I'm just going to tell you about it and then we can finish it off. So we started off with scrambling some eggs and cooking some sausage. We use turkey sausage. Delicious. It's delicious. It's from our family farm. We use the turkey breakfast sausage. Um, one note when you're cooking turkey sausage, you're going to need to put a little bit of oil in your pan because it doesn't have the fat that pork sausage has, and it'll stick to the pan and burn. So you definitely want to put um, oil in the bottom so you don't have that. Um, once we had that together, we mixed it together. You will also need puff pastry sheets, and I use the Pepperidge Farm puff pastry sheets. Um, there's two in a package, which allows you to make eight turnovers. Um, each sheet makes four turnovers. So whenever you, um, they're in the freezer section, so you need to thaw them out when you're going to use them. And then you want to roll it out with your rolling pin, um, but not too thin. It's, they come in rectangles and try to make it into more of a square, um, but you don't want it too thin so that it breaks whenever you're folding it over with um, the stuffing. After you roll it out a bit, you're going to cut it down the center uh, long wise, vertically, and horizontally, so that you get four squares like this, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to put, right now, what we're doing is we're going to put a little bit of stuffing right in the center. Mm -hmm. You don't want to put too much, but you want enough so that it's actually, you know, a, a meal. It's nice. Yeah. Um, then you are going to, we're going to fold it from one corner over to the other and you make a triangle. Now, one thing you need to do is to have a little bit of water so that you can put the water along two edges here and here, so that when you fold it over, it will seal, okay? And then you're going to crimp it with a fork. So my son was going to do that um, when we realized we didn't have Nobody. battery. So battery. make sure you get some good egg in there. We're lacking an egg. Get some more egg. Okay. Okay. All right. Go ahead, do the others, and I will. Oh, you want to do that? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Yep, that one, and then that one. Um, you'll see my kids, they're wearing these aprons, and Liam, come over here so they can see your hat. Okay, coming. Um, my kids love to cook. Last Christmas, they got these aprons and chef hats, they came in a pack of four, and so they love to wear these whenever we cook together. Um, so I'm just showing you guys so that if you have little ones at home that like to cook, these are a great gift. Um, we got it on Amazon. I will try to find it and link to it. It also saves their kids' clothes. Um, when they're doing stuff, you can use them for arts and crafts. That's because the last video didn't work. So I'm repeating okay. myself now. Um, this is our first video, so we're, we're new at this, and we're making some mistakes, and we'll learn really, really from our mistakes, yes. And we're doing this because these kiddos, um, part of the homeschool, we decided to start a blog. It's something that they can share their interests in, and I can share some of the things that we're doing with homeschool, um, especially, with, especially with what's been going on in 2020 and... And what? With 2020 and a lot of um, public school kids having to go um, virtual and do school from home, I got a lot of questions about homeschooling and how we do it. So you can find that on the blog too, some tips on how we survive homeschooling because it was not easy when we started. Um, it takes some getting used to. Uh, so let's stick it right in the middle, buddy. Okay. Did you, yeah. did you wet it? Yeah. Wet it. 
Yep. So while you guys are doing that, I'm going to get some parchment paper on my baking sheet. Oh, also, at the beginning of the video that did not take, we preheated the oven to 350 degrees, so that's what you're going to need to do. I'm going to warm up the hot chocolate again, guys, because I think it got cold. Do we need more hot chocolate? I, I, do you want more hot chocolate? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, close your eyes. Oh. You got it? Thanks. Oh, nope. no. Get it. Did no. get it? Nope. Can you get it? Got it? Oh, yeah, just close, close them lightly. There you go. Did you get it? Yep, got it. Okay. You're good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> you gotta get turned on your maker. It, it's okay. Yeah. You just really squished it down. Yeah. All right. You want to do your crimping? Yes. Crimp. 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 Cramp. Ooh, it has Crimp. holes. Girl. Don't, you know, you don't want holes because it'll all leak out. I think you squeezed yeah. down a bit much. Okay. Go. On. Hey, at least it still works. Crimp. A bit. Crimp. Cramp, 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 cramp. Is it? Can I cramp this? No. Mike? What? Can I cramp this? Yeah. Okay. Oh, not that side. No, no. no. Um, also, what you're going to need is some egg wash and a pastry brush. However, don't get discouraged. I don't have a pastry brush, um, and I still make them. I just use a spoon, and it's a mess. But. Um, the egg wash, which is just an egg and some water mixed together. Yes. Um, you just put the egg wash on top of your pastry before you, before you put it in the oven, and it makes it nice and golden brown. So I'm going to do this last one, and then we're going to pop these in the oven. Oven. Plop. Okay. A little bit more egg. We're like sausage heavy here. Yeah. All right. Water. Yep. Um, can I hit start when you open? For it to cook it. So when you bake these, you're going to put them in the oven for about 20 minutes. And that's enough for your puff pastry to cook um, and get nice and golden brown. Okay, now that they're on my baking sheet, I'm going to put the egg wash on them. And Kids have been waiting eagerly for their breakfast. My breakfast. Not, not just. Oh yes, I'm eating. Yeah, You're I'm eating all of them. Yeah. No. But we did have hot chocolate, huh? Kind of held us over. Yeah. The hot chocolates were very yummy. All right. So now that they have the egg wash on them, we are going to pop them in the oven for yeah. 20 minutes. All right. Eli wanted to do the timer. Yes, 
you get more hot chocolates? Yeah. 